Hi everyone. Now we will talk about signals in Angular. So first we'll discuss what are the signals and types of signal. Then we'll see how we can define signals, how we can initialize a signal's value and how we can update its value. Then we will create a small example for signals and here we will create a small counter application and there we can increase and decrease the value of counter with the help of signal and at, at last we'll discuss some important interview questions related to the Angular signal. And there is a one more important interview question uh, which is what is the difference between variables and signals in Angular? And you'll get to know the answer of this question in this part. Okay, second thing, signals are a big topic in Angular, so we cannot cover everything about signals in single part. So here you will get the basic idea, example, you'll get to know the types of uh, signal and uh, this kind of stuff. And in next part, we'll discuss uh, writable signals, then we'll discuss uh, computable signals and after that there is a one more feature of signals which is effect. We'll talk about that and we'll also see uh, how we can uh, update the uh, array and object values inside the signals. So there will be all uh, three or four videos on the signals and in this part we'll get to know the basic things about signals. Alright, so now let's discuss the first question. What are the signals uh, in Angular? See. Signal is basically a wrapper around a value. Here you can see that uh, if we define a normal property or normal variable, so the name of property and the value. And if we are uh, creating a signal, then its name and then signal function around the value, right? So you can say that signal is a wrapper around the value, but signals are more powerful than the properties and variables. How? See, when you update a signal right it will give you basically a signal to the typescript file as well as to the ui like uh, one signal value is updated and you can perform any operation on the behalf of the uh, updated signal right uh, so right now if you are not getting this don't worry in this part we will uh, cover the example like how it uh, will give you it will give you a signal when its value is updated right but in case of, uh, you can see that normal properties, the value will be updated on the UI, but it will not give any kind of signal to the TypeScript file, right? So that, that's why we call the signals are the, uh, you can see that reactive thing, right? Uh, same as state in the React.js, if you ever work with the React. Uh, and uh, the properties and variables, they are not reactive in Angular. All right. So let's visit the official website once for signals and let's see what they are saying about this. So here you can see that uh, what is signal. So here you'll see signals is a, a wrapper around the value that notify interested consumer when its value is changed. That means uh, signals are basically a wrapper around the values that we already discussed and they will notify uh, the consumer wherever uh, uh, these uh, signals are required that its value is changed when we are updating them. And in signals, we can uh, update or we can store any kind of value. Uh, it could be numeric, it could be string, or it could be array object, any kind of data we can store there, all right? So there are two types of signal. First one is writable, here you can see that. And second one is computable, or you can see that computed signal. And that we will cover in the upcoming part, okay. So next thing, how we can use them, right? And how we can define in and initialize them. So let's move on the code and uh, let me open the app.component.ts file. So let, uh, let's remove the old code which is done previously, right? Okay, so let's say uh, we are defining a property and its uh, name is data and its value is let's say 100. This is very simple. Then if you want to display it, then how you can display on the UI, which is very simple. Uh, you can just create, uh, you can say that interpolation braces and then you can put their data and that will be display on the UI. Let me open it. Why are they, why there is an error? Okay, yeah, I think that is something related to reload. So I just reload and refreshed it, that, that is working fine. Okay, so. Uh, instead, if you want to define a signal and let's say signal where uh, name is count and uh, its value is we want to define 10 and around this we have to put a signal and it should be imported from the angular core, right? Then it will work properly. 
and here we go so now let's say you want to uh, display the counter value then how you can do so maybe you will think let's say h2 and there we can define count uh, it will not give you the exact value here you can see that this is showing this is a signal and its value is 10 so you have to use it as a function and now its value is working perfect okay so the next thing let's say you have a button right and let's say update value right and we have a click event there and now you want to update a signal value so function name is also let's say update value and we have to define this function inside the ts file and there uh, for example let's say you want to update the data value and uh, i want to update it by 200 then you can simply do that this dot data is 200 and if I just click over there, you can see that its value is getting changed. But you cannot update signal with the same way. This dot count is let's say 1000. If you put this, then you will definitely get an error there. Here you can see that. So what we have to do, you have to put there this dot count dot set and then you can update its value. So there is an update function also, but that we'll discuss in the next part. This is a completely different thing. Not completely different thing, but there is some complexity. So here we are covering the basic things. So here you can put the value, let's say 100. So now if I just click over there, you can see that signal value is also getting changed. Perfect. So if I just put there 200, perfectly on click, this is getting changed. Okay. So now uh, you will see the both are looking dif uh, same there is a what is the difference between them we can update the signal we can update the properties yeah uh, initializing value and update things are a little bit different but what's so special about this the both are working same way let me show you the difference so let you use the, uh, let's create a constructor there and inside this i'm putting their effect so this is the basically a feature which is work closely work with the uh, uh, signals right so this effect is basically take a callback function and I'm making a console there, console.log and displaying the data, right? Like this. And there we have to use this dot data. So if I am just, uh, let me open the inspect element. If I'll just uh, uh, refresh this, you can see that on line number 15, 100 is getting printed. Line number 15 is this. So this is uh, printing the 100 value of data. That's fine, completely fine. And here I'm updating its value. Uh, 100 is there. If I just click over there, its value is changed to the 200, but this is not reactive. So this is not giving any signal like uh, this value is changed there, right? But let's say in case of count, in case of signal, if I'm just putting there count, you will see its initial value is 10 here you can see that here this is defined right its initial value is 10 and if I just click on the update you will see its value is display there whatever you are updating this is displayed there right again let me show you if I just update the value for data this is not display right this is only a display first time if I just click again again and again it will not update but in case of uh, signal this is updating even if I just update it like this dot count plus one every time if I'm increasing its value you can see that every time time this is get we are getting this signal so what we will do there so let's say if a value of a variable or value of a signal is updated you want to perform some operation maybe you want to call API maybe you want to redirect it uh, current page to some other page uh, you want to show some dialog box or something that you can do there all right okay so now how we can create a counter let me show you so i will use this function only for the counter how so uh, let me remove the data which is or you can see that let me comment out the data which is not important for now right uh, not signal data okay so there uh, i'm putting there increment and creating one more there which is decrement right okay so now there i'll pass dec that means decrement and here i'll pass 
INC that means increment so there I'll get a value and type of this will be string obviously and there what I'll do I will check if condition uh, if value equal equal to DEC this is decrement basically if this is decrement then this dot count dot set uh, this dot count minus one right so if I'm just clicking over there you can see that its value is decreasing else if this is not decrease in the value then we will increase its value plus one so this is how we can increase and decrease its value right this is how we can create a basic increment and decrement with the help of signal that's all for this part in next part we'll understand what are the writable and what are the uh, computed uh, computed signal thank you so much for watching this part if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section thank you guys